This video is about SketchUp's built-in Divide tool and the Divide with Construction Point script. Let's say we're building a stair. I'll start by drawing a rectangle representing an individual step in plan. I'll make that 11 inches deep, comma, 3 feet wide. Then I'll draw a line off to the side someplace in the blue direction that measures the height of the stair. Let's call that 9 feet for this demonstration. I'll right click on this line and choose Divide. As I move the mouse, you'll see a different number of red dots appear, and you can see the number changing down here in the measurements toolbar. As I come down here, you'll see if I hold the mouse still, you'll see a tooltip that gives the actual length of an individual segment. A good rule of thumb is 711, so the riser height is 7 inches and the tread depth is 11 inches. We're not going to get it exactly 7. 7 and 3 16 sounds pretty good. So I'm going to click right here to divide the line into that number of segments. You can verify this just by deselecting and then clicking on an individual segment. You'll see that these are now separated. Now making the stair works like this. I'll go ahead and push-pull this up, and I'll go over to the side and reference this end point. Then I'll select this step and turn it into a component. I'll press G to make a component, and I'll call this Step, Create as a Component, and then go to the Move tool by pressing M, click in this lower corner to pick up the step from this point, I'll press the Option key to leave the original behind, and then I'll click in the opposite corner to connect the copy there. And then I need a number of steps, all arrayed in the same angle, so I'll just type in 12x. Now I'd like to see that in an elevation view, so I'll press Command 4, and then press J to go into parallel projection mode. It looks like I need a couple more steps. Let's try 13x. It's not quite there. I guess it's 14x. Just pan over here. And that looks correct. Okay. Now I'll press J to go back into perspective mode. This is quite a chunky staircase. I'd like to have gaps in between the individual treads. So I'm going to double click on this component to enter it. I'll orbit underneath, press P for the push pull tool, then I'll click on this lower face and move it up. And there we have it. The divide with construction lines is a script that you need to load comes from the Ruby Library Depot. And it works in a similar way to the Divide tool, except you have the option of putting in construction points rather than individual segments like we did originally. Let me just go ahead and draw in another line that's 9 feet high. This time I'll right click on it and choose Divide with Construction Points, 13. And if I say no, it's just going to put in construction points and the segment remains intact. This can be useful from time to time. If I said yes at that question in the dialog box, it would actually cut these at the construction points, very much like the divide command does.